Hey guys, Becky Thames here, and I wanted to show you how to ship your very first item into Amazon. So all you need is a book. So here I have Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson, and just make sure that your book has a UPC code or an ISBN number on it so that we can list it on Amazon. Okay, so here I am in one of my old accounts, and um, what we're going to do, the very first thing you need to do is just go over to Inventory and click on Add a Product. Okay, and that brings you to this page. And what you do on this page is you just type in your ISBN number. So here on this ISBN, we're going to type it in 978-168-350-4580. And then just hit search. And we'll see if that product's on Amazon. Here we can see the product is listed on Amazon. So all we have to do, we can sell ours in new collectible and used conditions. We just click on sell yours. And then what that's going to do, that's going to bring us up to the next page. And this is where we can put in our price and the condition of our book. So we're going to just sell ours for, we're going to put in a high price. So let's say that we put in $25. And the reason we're doing a high price is because just in case Amazon loses it, they're going to pay us $25 for our book. So then we're going to click, okay, it's not new. And here you want to describe your book like as accurately. So we're just going to put this one is used very good. Okay. And then you can say, I want Amazon to ship and provide customer service for my items if they sell or I want to ship this item myself to the customer if it sells. So what we're going to do is we're going to say we want Amazon to ship and provide the customer service. So we're going to click Save and Finish. Okay, and then when we do that, it's going to bring us up to this page and where it says, okay, we want, they want to show us what our, um, how we're going to send this item in. So we're going to say, um, barcode type, we're going to put save and continue. And it says, okay, you're going to be redirected within a few moments. And here we are on our shipping page. So what we're going to say is we have an individual product. You, you put in your ship from address. We're going to create a new shipping plan and then hit continue to the shipping plan. And here, it's going to say, how many of this book, Expert Secrets, are we going to mail? Well, we only have one, so we're going to put one there. And we're going to hit continue. Okay, next, if it needed any type of packaging or prepping or anything, which our book doesn't, it would tell us right here. But there's nothing here, so we're just going to hit continue. Okay. So here we are here, and it's going to say, who's going to label this item? Is the merchant, which is us, are we going to label it? Or do you, you click this, or do you want Amazon to label it? Well, we're going to say that the merchant, we want to label it. And we're going to hit, um, hit print labels for this page. Now, you can see here that you're printing 30 UP labels, 1 inch by 2 and 5 inch, by two and five eighths inch on US letter. So this is the Avery 5160 labels. That's what I use, but you can scroll through here and pick up, you know, pick the labels that you want. But to me, that's the easiest. So if you have 30 items, it would make sense to send in 30 labels. But we're just going to click on print labels for this page. And then this little PDF pops up down here. You click this and click open. And what you're going to see is the, it's going to be called the Amazon barcode, and it's going to look like this. Now, this right here, on if you had 30 items, it would be three rows of 10. But what you do is, this is a sticker, and you're going to peel this sticker off. You can see that Amazon gave it a code that's automatically generated from Amazon. But you peel this sticker off, and on the back of your book, right over that ISBN, 
the UPC code, you paste that Amazon sticker right there. You paste it right here. So now when Amazon gets this item and they scan it, they're going to say, oh, that's Becky's Expert Secrets book. So that's how Amazon knows that this book came from me because of this, because of this sticker right here that we're going to put on it. Okay. So then we go back over here and we're going to hit continue. Now, before I continue, if you wanted to let Amazon do that, you could just change it to Amazon and they would charge you 20 cents per unit. So if you want to save 20 cents, you do it yourself. If you don't, you let them do it. And then you hit continue. And then what's going to happen is Amazon is going to automatically populate where this item ships to. So for me, it's saying you're going to ship that one item to Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, if you had 30 different items, it may say, we'll send 10 to Charlotte, North Carolina, send 10 to Columbia, South Carolina, and send 10 to Hebron, Kentucky. And you would have to go wherever Amazon says to send those. You can change the name here. So if you wanted to put, you know, books, um, expert secret, secrets, and that way, whenever this item gets to Amazon, you would know that Amazon received your expert secrets book. And then you would just click on approve shipment. Okay, once you click on Approve Shipment, it's going to bring you to this page. And on this page, it just says, okay, we're sending in one book, Expert Secrets. This is the shipment ID. Here's where you're sending it, and you're going to click on Work on Shipment. Now, it's going to say, do you have a small parcel delivery? That means you're shipping individual boxes. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, I like to use UPS because it's one of Amazon partnered carriers and it says how would this shipment be packed and you can select an option. So we're going to we're going to put everything in one box or multiple boxes. For us because we only have one item we're going to put everything in one box. And then it's going to bring you up a template and it says okay you're putting this in a box. How much does that box weigh? Well, our box weighs one pound, but you physically measure it. What are the box dimensions? This is a pretty small box, so it's um, 10 by 2 by 2. But you would physically measure the length, the width, and the height, and type it in here and click Confirm. So Amazon's saying, okay, for this one pound box, 10 by 2 by 2 by 2, it's going to cost us, and it's going to spit out three dollars and fifty one cents but I, and then you would just click here I agree to the terms and conditions and accept charges but let's say for example that our box weighed I don't know 48 pounds let's just say it weighed 48 pounds and we hit calculate look how cheap the shipping's gonna be if it calculates it it's usually really cheap, like about six or seven dollars. Oh wait, we have to hit confirm again, sorry. And then we have to hit calculate. So it's saying 148, okay, so ten dollars and you can mail almost a 50 pound box. And then you would click this and say I agree and accept the charges. Well, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to pay, but let's pretend that I did. If you do that, then it would come up here and it would say print box labels. And then once you print those box labels, I actually recommend that you print it on a page like this where it has a sticker, like two of them are stickers. And that way, um, when it ships, you can print one. It is, it's the Amazon FBA label, label that says, okay, this is where you stick it, and you stick it on the outside of the box. And this one would be the actual UPC label, and you would just peel both of these and stick them on the outside of the box. Don't stick it across where you put the tape or anything like that. But that's how you would do it. You would just hit this print box labels, make sure that it's an eight and a half by 11 that has two stickers on it. If you don't, you can use a regular sheet of paper and then just cut it in half. And then um, after you've done that, you would tape your, put your box, put your book in a box, tape it up, print out this um, box labels. You will get two of them 
sticker them on your box, and then just hit complete shipment. And then all you have to do is take it to UPS or call UPS to come and pick it up. And congratulations, you've sent your very first item into Amazon FBA. And if you do this, you will be allowed to sell during the fourth quarter of Amazon. But you need to do it now, like today. Have it ready to mail out by tomorrow. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. And I look forward to seeing your success for fourth quarter on Amazon. Bye.